yeah, yeah, great. Great, Beauty. Very good. Let's take a break. Hmm? Miss, when we were taking pictures, was there an old man? Old man? No, it's just the two of us. Damn! Isn't this an old man? What's going on? Why is it suddenly dark? Miss! Jing Pong? <laughs> Miss! Jing Pong? Who are you? Hey! Hey! Don't be afraid. I'm also called Jing Ping. I am you. It's just... I am you. Thirty years later. After thirty years? I'm so ugly? Remember, in the following 30 years, you live a miserable life. Listen to me. Stay away from me. I'm not afraid of you. Take it easy. Here, this is your diary. It records all the important things in these 30 years. Remember this. Only one page can be unlocked per day. Whether you can change your destiny. Oh no, I mean our destiny. It's all up to you. Who the hell are you? I told you. I am you. Huh? Help! Help! I had a dream again. This is your diary. It records all the important things in these 30 years. Damn! It's not a dream. Hell! Where on earth did it come from? Was it really given by the future me? In that dream? For me, today is the most miserable day. I was fired from my job. I was cuckolded. And my wife divorced me. Damn! Is that me? The date is July 5th, 2023. Isn't that today? Why is there only one page in this diary? Remember this. Only one page can be unlocked per day. I can only unlock one page a day. What's going on? It's bullshit. Besides, how could I be so miserable? And today is Sunday. I don't work. If I believe you, I must be a fool. Hey, Mr. Liu. Jing Pong, here's the thing. The company is in trouble. We've decided that you're laid off. You won't have to come tomorrow. What? <laughs> All right, that's it. Mr. Liu, Mr. Liu, hey! I'm really fired. If everything is true, then my wife will also divorce me. It can't happen! I have to call Chad. Wifey! Wifey! Wifey, you're back! Who's your wife? Don't make me sick! Where's our daughter? Why didn't she come back with you? She's staying at your parents' home. Oh, Wifey, I have something to tell you. Don't even start yet. I have something to tell you, too. You... you're not gonna say... Let's get a divorce. I've had enough. Damn! You really want to divorce me. What? You've foreseen it? Did you fall for another man? You stalked me? I just found out about this. I didn't stalk you. Just tell me, yes or no? Fine. Since you've known everything, 
I'll be honest with you. I did fall for another man and we've dated for a long time. I've had enough of a loser like you. He's worth tens of millions of dollars. Much better than you. Liu Qianqian. You've gone too far, haven't you? You have no right to judge me. I'm divorcing you tomorrow. Lele is yours. This house belongs to me. Pack your things and get lost. You're too shameless. I'm shameless? Yeah, I am shameless. All I want is money. Liu Qianqian, you... Hello, honey. I've talked with that loser. Now come and pick me up. Hmm. Liu Qianqian, wait for me. This is your diary. It records all the important things in these thirty years. Whether you can change your destiny, it's all up to you. Change my destiny? <laughs> Lele, Daddy. Hey, baby. Jingpeng, why didn't Chen Chen come with you? Mom, she, she's busy. How is your work going? Oh, quite good. That's good. That's good. By the way, Lele won't go back with you tonight. Tomorrow, your dad and I will go on an outing with her. You just focus on work. Okay, Mom. How will you get there? We've booked the bus tickets. Good. Daddy, come with us. Baby, I won't go. I still need to work. Just have fun with your grandparents. It's exactly what it says in the diary. I lost my job and wife within one day. Myself, thirty years later, gave me the diary in the dream. It turned out to be true. This is really amazing. It's a pity I can only read one page a day. Then on the page tomorrow, what will it record? How can I change it? Forget about it. Let's see tomorrow. The diary. There's one more page here. If I say yesterday was my worst day, then today was the most desperate day in my life. On the way to the outing. My parents and Lele had an accident. The bus fell off Drip Bridge. My parents and daughter died instantly. The date is July six, twenty twenty-three. Isn't that today? Dad, Mom, open the door. They've already left Drip Bridge. Yeah, Drip Bridge. Are you insane? Wanna die? What's your problem? Are you trying to blackmail? You're crazy. Dad, mom. Ping pong. Dad, why are you here? Dad, mom, get off first. There will be an accident. What? Hey, what's wrong with you? Didn't you hear me? Why did you get on the bus? Leave now, or I'll call the police. Listen, there's going to be an accident. Get off, all of you. This bus will fall off Drip Bridge into the river. None of you will be spared. What nonsense are you talking about? Are you insane? Are you all right? Everything goes well. How could there be an accident? What I said is true. There's going to be an accident. I'm telling you. If you keep messing around, I'll call the police. Ridiculous. How did you know in advance there would be an accident? Are you a god? Son, what's wrong with you? Did something happen to you? Mom, nothing happened to me. Can't you just believe me? Don't waste everyone's time. Call the police. This man is weird. Hey, hey, let me tell you. I don't care if you're insane or not. Get out of the bus right now. We still have business to do. Get lost. Dad, mom, get off first. Son, don't scare me. What the hell is going on? Hey, can you stop wasting our time? All of you, get off now. Get off. Talking about accident in the morning. 
What bad luck? Get out of the bus. I can see the future. Why don't you all believe me? Please believe me once. Stop it and get lost. What a jinx. <laughs> Hurry up. Annoying. Weirdo. You wasted our time. Just leave. You guys get off. Or you can change the route. Bypass Drip Bridge. Or all of you will die. Shut your mouth. Hey, please trust me once. Don't cross that bridge. Hey. Jing Peng. What's wrong with you? How did you know in advance this bus will fall off Drip Bridge? It's so illogical, isn't it? Even a fortune teller won't tell you this. Too many strange things happen to me these days. I don't know how to tell you. Anyway, I know. What's going to happen? I must change my destiny. What are you talking about? You must have been under a lot of stress at work. Listen, take two days off. Go to see a doctor. Mom, what do you mean? I'm very healthy. Daddy, let's go for an outing. Okay. We'll go for an outing, but we can't go there by bus. Let's take a taxi. That damn fool was really ridiculous. I think he was just out of his mind. Absolutely. He has a mental problem. Yeah. A total psycho. But I don't think he has mental illness. The drip bridge is around the corner. How about we change the road and avoid it? Wait, how can you believe a fool's word? If he says you'll choke to death. When you eat, you won't even eat. Yeah. That's right. But what if what he said is true? Cut the crap. What era is this? Don't believe such superstition. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they change the route or not. Don't bother yourself with that. They must be fine. Otherwise, we'll see the news about such a big accident. I hope so. Maybe my appearance disrupted the rhythm of time, so they're all safe. Son, stop being paranoid. You should put all your energy into work. You can't have such a suspicious mind. Attention! A big accident occurred at Drip Bridge. A bus fell into the river. There is a traffic jam there. Please bypass the bridge. Damn. I've thought about it. Son, turn yourself in. Dad, what are you saying? What did I do? You know what I mean? How did you know this bus would fall off that bridge? You must have something to do with this. And worked with terrorists. You're overthinking it. I'm a photographer. Why would I work with terrorists? Then explain it to me. If you didn't do that, how did you know this accident in advance? And you also knew the accurate location. This accident was obviously man-made. And you must be one of the participants, right? I'm tired of explaining. The police will find out the truth. You can't even trust your son. Son, I believe you. Mom, thank you. You're not the mastermind. You're just an insider. No! Why can't you believe me? How can I believe you, huh? Fine, if I say, the future me gave me a diary in a dream telling me this bus would fall off Drip Bridge. Will you believe it? Why don't you turn yourself in? Just go ahead. Fortunately, I got the diary and saved my parents and Lele. This should be a change of destiny. It's a pity I didn't stop all those people. What a sin. What on earth is all this about? On the page tomorrow. What will it record? Jing Qian. Jing Peng, you ride the electric bicycle quite well. Chen Qian, why are you dressed like this? What's wrong with that? So this is your useless ex-husband? What are you guys doing? We're not divorced yet. Really? You're not divorced yet? This is much more exciting. <laughs> you two are shameless. How dare you curse me? Why don't you look at yourself with such a small salary? Aren't you ashamed? You're already in your 30s, but only has an electric bicycle. I really regret it. I was blind back then and married a loser like you. Liu Tianjian. I didn't know you were like this. You really make me sick. What's wrong with me? Loser, I've had enough of you. Brat!
How do you deserve, champion? Your monthly salary isn't even enough to pay for the bag I bought for her. Right. Honey, luckily I met you. Otherwise, I wouldn't know that there's really a huge gap between different groups of people. Ha 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 ha. Enough! Stop making me sick! Don't you want a divorce? Fine, let's do it now. That's great! I'm waiting for you to say this! Let's go to the Civil Affairs Bureau now. Well, we'll be waiting for you at the Bureau. With your electric bicycle, who knows how long it will take to get there! Ha ha ha! Honey, there happens to be a hotel over there. Let me see how you'll make me happy. I can't wait to see your skills. Okay, then let's enjoy ourselves first. Then be there or be square. Ah, I'm single again. But such a woman doesn't deserve my love. Luckily, I saved my parents and daughter today. Why are there all bad things in this diary? Has anything good ever happened to me? According to probability, there should be some good things. God bless me. I hope it can help me change my fate. God bless me. God bless me. My life is always so miserable. Why are other people's lives full of surprises? Online report. Today the richest man fainted at the gate of Binjang Park. A delivery man sent him to the hospital. The tycoon didn't have a son. So he made the delivery men inherit all his fortune. How come I'm not so lucky? July 7th, 2023. Damn! That is to say, if I save the richest man, I'll be able to inherit all his fortune. Binjang Park. Today? What am I waiting for? Hey! Wish me good luck. Sir, hurry, Binjong Park. It's still early, he shouldn't have come. But who is the richest man? All right, just wait here. Whoever faints must be the richest man. Excuse me, I want to ask how many gates there are here. The park has four gates. What? Four gates? Yeah, four gates. This is West Gate. The diary told me it was at the gate. But which gate exactly? The odds are one in four. What if I'm wrong? I heard that a big shot is at the East Gate. Everybody is going there. A big shot at the East Gate? Yeah, I'm going too. Someone really fainted here. But this is a sanitation worker. He can't be the richest man. The big shot is at the East Gate. The richest man must also be there. Anyway, I'm going to the East Gate. Forget it. If I leave, I'll be struck by lightning. Hello, hospital? West Gate of Binjang Park. Someone fainted. Right, hurry! What to do? Wake up! Wake up, sir! Sir! Nurse! Sir, are you the patient's family? Me? I'm not! Where are they? He's in critical condition. And needs surgery now. They must pay medical bills. Huh? But... Who are you to him? Can you contact his family? Give it to me. 
Treat him soon. What the hell? This is absurd. I didn't save the richest man, but saved a sanitation worker, and I paid the medical bills. Oh, forget it. Maybe I'm not destined to be a rich man. Where am I? Sir, you're awake? You're... Sir, this young man is your savior. You fainted at the gate of the park. He called the hospital and gave you artificial respiration, so you were rescued in time. After sending you to the hospital, he also paid the medical bills. This man saved your life. Really? Then I must repay your kindness. Sir, I don't need any reward. You're just a sanitation worker. You must be short on money. When you get reimbursement for medical expenses, give the money back to me. I'm also a poor man. You think I'm a sanitation worker? Weren't you wearing a sanitation worker's clothes just now? Young man, can I use your phone to make a call? This is Binjang Hospital, right? Yeah. Hello? It's me. I'm at Binjang Hospital. Come here right now. Sir, you called your family, right? Look at you. You're getting old and still work so hard. Your family even didn't know you fainted. Luckily, I saved you. But do you know what I missed because of this? Young man, you're a good person. Destiny sent you to me. I have to say, this is really God's will. As for the loss you've suffered, I'll compensate you thousandfold. It's fine, sir. As a sanitation worker, how can you repay me? Honestly, I'm really happy that I saved your life. You'll find out later. Hey! What are you doing? Dad! Dad, what happened to you? Xiao, you're here. You scared me to death. Are you okay? I'm fine now. I just had surgery. I'm out of danger. Sir, this is your daughter? Hmm. Dad, this is... Oh, this is my savior. Without him, I would have been dead. And he paid medical bills for me. Thank you so much for saving my dad. Thanks a lot. Sir, aren't you a sanitation worker? What's going on? I'm getting confused. I'm not a sanitation worker. I just went to the park to exercise. Actually, I'm the chairman of the Zhe group and the richest man in Binjiang, Shui Danian. What? The richest man? Right. Damn, I did it by mistake. He's really the richest man. In the diary, it says, he's going to tell me to inherit all his property. Young man, I haven't asked you yet. What's your name? Oh, I... I am Jing Peng. Jing Peng. I just said I'd compensate you. What exactly do you want? Well... I don't know either. Then listen carefully. I don't have a son. I only have a daughter. From today on, I will accept you as my adopted son. Besides, you'll inherit all my fortune. What? Dad! It's serious. You mustn't be impulsive. I've never been impulsive in my life. I've never been wrong about anyone. This man is the heir I've been looking for. Sir, don't you have a daughter? Why don't you let her inherit the family fortune? Are you married yet? I got divorced yesterday. <laughs> That's perfect. My daughter is single, too. I'll marry her to you. You'll naturally inherit my fortune. Huh? I'll marry her to you. You'll naturally inherit my fortune. Huh? huh? Dad? No. How can you decide it so casually? Marriage is a serious matter. Xiao, please trust my judgment. I never miss a talent. I know you too. I know what kind of man is a good match for you. But we just met for the first time. That's enough. Jing Pong, what do you think? Miss Xiao is single, but I was once married, and I also have a kid.
it doesn't matter as long as you're single now as for whether you were married or have kids it's not a problem don't you like Xiao? I don't mean that Miss Xiao is elegant and gorgeous I'm just a poor guy how can I deserve Miss Xiao? I can see that you fell for her at first sight that's all that matters here Xiao it's decided Jing Pong will be my heir you can be a couple now Tomorrow, go we'll get registered. Love grows gradually. Tomorrow, go we'll get registered. Love grows gradually. Fine. Whatever you say, it's an order. All these years, no one can change your decision. Remember this. I've never made a wrong decision. Jing Pong, any problem? Uh, I... I... All right. You're fine with it. Get your marriage certificate tomorrow. Well, all right. Now that you're the heir of the Zhu family, the Binjiang Hotel, under the Zhu group will be in your charge starting today. I'll hand other business over to you later. Mr. Xu, look, I'm not ready yet. I'm afraid I'm not capable. Please think twice, Mr. Zhu. Please, Mr. Xu. You must know I'm vigorous and resolute. You're the boss. If you're worried, just go to find some capable men. Besides, Xiao will assist you. I believe you. You should believe in yourself. But... That's it. Binjang Hotel is yours. Go through the procedures. Well, all right then. I'll try. Thank you, sir. Are you blind? Where are your eyes? Whoa. It's you, loser! It's you! Why are you here? I should be the one. Who's asking this? This is Binjiang Hotel, the largest hotel in the city. A poor guy like you can't even afford food. Are you here to be a beggar or a cleaner? Watch your mouth. Your words are just as disgusting as your looks. Good for you. You dare curse me? Don't you want to live anymore? Liu Jiankian, why have you become so mean? You're Lele's mother, after all. If she knows her mother is like this now, she'll be upset. Don't even mention her. In front of me. When we got divorced, we agreed that Lele is yours. I just need to care about myself. Nothing else matters. I don't know how people like you can exist. Every time I see you, I feel sick. Get lost. Ding Peng, you want to leave after cursing me? You're getting bold. Let go of me. Are you insane? Wait here. Hello. Honey, I'm in the lobby of your hotel. I ran into that loser again. He bullied me. Come here and teach him a lesson. He bullied me. Come here and teach him a lesson. Liu Chengqian. Don't embarrass yourself. Brat! How dare you cause trouble? At my Binjiang Hotel? Honey, you're here! This guy just bullied me. And cursed me. You must make him pay for that. Don't worry, baby. Today I won't let him go. Easily. You two are really birds of a feather. Brat, uh, do you know what this place is? Binjiang Hotel. What's wrong? Then do you know who I am? I don't care who you are. Does it have anything to do with me? Then let me tell you. I'm the general manager of this great hotel. Whoa! So you're the general manager here? That's interesting. What? You scared? Binjiang Hotel is the only five-star hotel in this city. This place is in his charge. He's worth tens of millions of dollars. Now you know the gap between you two? I don't have time for this. I still have business to do. Stop being so arrogant. Yo, you have business to do? A poor guy like you? Are you here looking for a job? Want to be a security guard? Or a cleaner? <laughs> what I want to be has nothing to do with you. Honey, look how arrogant he is. Whatever he applies for, ignore him. Hey! Don't be so cruel! There's a job that really suits you. I want to keep a hound at my home. It just needs to bark at the door well, when there are strangers. Ha ha ha! Now that you're here, I don't think I need to buy a hound. You're quite suitable. I'll also put a chain around your neck. How about being a watchdog? Wang Kui, you want to die? Jing Peng, Wang Kui is helping you. 
Don't be ungrateful. I think you're particularly suitable. Ha ha ha. Is it funny? You know what? I can make you stop laughing right away. What did you say? Make us stop laughing? This is the funniest part. Who do you think you are? Buying a pair of cheap shoes would make you hesitate. Stop pretending to be a big shot. Wang Kui. You don't deserve to talk to me here. Ask the president of Binjiang Hotel, Han Dongwei, to come here. What? Did I hear you right? Want to see Mr. Han? Do you think you're qualified? Not any lowly man has the right to meet him. Did you forget to take your medicine? Ha ha ha. This is transfer contract of Binjiang Hotel. I need to talk with him about the handover. From today on, I am the boss of Binjiang Hotel. You're the boss. I'm dying of laughing. If you were the boss, your wife wouldn't be my lover now. Jing Kong, our divorce has made you lose your mind. You even dreamed of becoming the boss of Binjiang Hotel. You're a dreamer, aren't you? The transfer contract is here. Can't you see that? Let me see what the damn contract is. Yo, it's really a transfer contract. The new president, Jing Peng. You know what? This fake contract is like a real, even with the seal. Jing Peng, you're fully prepared, aren't you? If I hadn't known you so well, I would have believed it. Your attitude doesn't matter. Where's Han Dongwei? Don't mention his name like that. Show some respect, will you? Honey, stop wasting time. I was bullied by him today. You must teach him a lesson. Pull him out and beat him up. Okay, let me give you a massage today. Wang Hui, don't even start it, or you'll hurt yourself. Security. Mr. Wang, what do you need? This man stole our official seal. I just caught him. You guys take him to the security room and search him carefully. See if he's stolen anything else. Yes, sir. Uh, listen, he might be uncomfortable with it. If he's uncooperative, it's only reasonable to beat him up. Got it, sir. Go. Wang Hui, don't you dare hurt me today. This is what I hate most about you. I feel sick when I see you. Honey, give him a good beating. Take him away. You dare hit me? Beat him to death. Stop. Stop, Mr. Han. You're here. What's going on? I caught a thief at our hotel. I'm working on it. What thief? Oh, this guy stole the official seal of our hotel and then forged a copy of transfer. He said he came here for the handover. He also boasted that our hotel would be his. Right. He even hit me. What? You are Han Dongwei. I didn't expect that we'd meet in this way. Shut your mouth. I'll deal with you later. You are Jing Pong. Yes, that's me. Let him go. Do you know who he is? He is Mr. Han. I know him. He's just a thief that fools everyone. He's a poor guy from low class. He's our client too. As general manager, how did you treat our client? Mr. Han, why did you slap me? Mr. Han, why did you slap me? What kind of client is he? He can't afford to consume here. Yes, Mr. Han. You may not know. This man is my ex-husband. He's a loser. Don't treat him like a human. All of you, shut up. Once he enters our hotel, he is our client, Mr. Han. In the absence of any evidence, your subordinate said I'm a thief. He tried to take me to the security room and beat me. What should you do, Mr. Jing? What's your opinion? I think, as an ordinary client. I was humiliated at such a big hotel. To maintain the reputation of the hotel, I suggest you fire this general manager, who doesn't have principles, bullies his clients. Stop that nonsense! Mr. Han and I are good friends. With such bullshit, you want him to fire me? Are you crazy, Mr. Han? Don't worry about such trifles. I'll deal with it. Wang Hui, from today on, you can never enter Binjiang Hotel. You're fired. What, Mr. Han? Are you mistaken? Just because of this, you decided to fire me. I've worked for you for many years. Didn't you hear me clearly? Get out of here now! Didn't you hear me clearly? 
Get out of here now. Mr. Hunt, is this guy so important? He even hit me. Instead of speaking for me, you fired me? Security! Yes, Mr. Hunt. Drag these two people out of here? Mr. Hunt, Mr. Hunt, he just hit me. Mr. Hunt! Bye, General Manager. I'm sorry, Mr. Jing. Forgive me. It's okay. Such a man. Doesn't deserve to work in Binjiang Hotel. Right. I'll inform the entire industry to blacklist him. He'll be out of work. Mr. Zhu has told you everything, right? Yes, he has. Now please follow me to the office to go through the procedures. From today on, this Binjiang Hotel belongs to you. Let's go. Captain Hu, do you want to die? Do you remember who I am? You used to be Mr. Wang, my boss. But Mr. Han said, you're fired from the hotel, so you're nothing now. Get lost! Let's go! Wang Hui, what the hell is going on? Didn't you say Mr. Han was your good friend? Why did he fire you? Because of that loser? How would I know? Jing Peng, you can't really come to take over Binjiang Hotel? How's that possible? I know that good for nothing. Mr. Han must be confused and mistook him as a big client. This idiot! Wait for me. I must kill him! This day is too dreamy. Somehow I became the heir to the richest man, and I was suddenly given such a rich and gorgeous wife. I must be the chosen one. Ah, sleep now. We'll go get registered tomorrow. I wonder what it will record on the page tomorrow. Will something more amazing happen to me? I hope it'll be a lucky day. This man is quite miserable. Yang Tianzhao, the world's richest man, was suffocated in his bedroom. On his first day in Binjiang, the murderer was his personal secretary. July 8th, 2023. That's all? Nothing more? The diary today. What does it have to do with me? What's the point of recording this? Hello, honey. Jing Peng, what time is it? Shouldn't we get the marriage certificate today? Are you coming or not? I'm sorry, honey. I forgot. I'm coming. Hurry up. Jing Peng, I must tell you this in advance. Our marriage is exactly what my dad wanted. You can live in our house, but you mustn't touch me. Got it. Hey, your dad. Oh no, our dad. Didn't our dad tell us? Love can gradually grow. You'll fall in love with me. Quite confident. Of course. How about I live in your house today? As you wish. Since? We're getting married. Do you want to meet my parents? And my daughter. Too many things happen these days. I didn't even have time to tell them that I got divorced and got married again. I need to explain it to them. No way. Why should I go to your home? I told you. It was decided by my dad. Then you... What do you mean? I can meet your parents unless I fall in love with you. That's easy. Give me seven days. I'll make you fall for me. All right, let's wait and see. Hello, Dad. Hello, Su Yao. Have you registered? Do I dare not obey your order? Okay, hurry back with Jing Peng. There's something urgent. What is it? We'll talk later. Okay, I see. Let's go. It's urgent. 
Dad, what's the matter? What happened? Good. You're both back. The company is in big trouble. What big trouble? The world's famous businessman, Yang Tianqiao, visits Binjiang today. Really? It's recorded in my diary. Can this matter really be related to me? How does his visit matter? Yang Tianqiao plans to make large investments here. The local enterprise, which can cooperate with him, will stand out from the crowd and grow rapidly. Is he more powerful than you? Seriously? He's well known in the entire world. You can see his name on the Forbes list. My dad is powerful, but he's just the richest man here. Our group ranks first in Binjiang. He'll definitely choose to work with us. Our main competitor is the Liu Group. Their boss and Yang Tianqiao are old friends. So he'll surely cooperate with the Liu Group. Then the Liu Group will overtake us. In a short time, our group will be faced with rapid regression. Then what should we do now? Then what should we do now? I found out where Yang Tianqiao lives. Now we have to go and talk to him in advance to see if we can turn the tide. But you just said he and the boss of the Liu group are old friends. Do we still have a chance? When we talk with him, we'll keep profits to a minimum to show our sincerity. If we can work with Yang Tianqiao, it's fine that we don't earn a penny. The point is don't give the Liu group a chance. Or else, after it gains power, it'll destroy us. Dad, in your view, what are the odds we can succeed? If it goes smoothly, less than 10%. Yang Tianqiao, the world's richest man, was suffocated in his bedroom. On his first day in Binjiang, the murderer was his personal secretary. Help! If I can save Yang Tianqiao's life, we'll be able to win the deal. Then, who'll do it? I haven't recovered yet. You'll go on behalf of the Shui group. But I'm afraid I can't make it. Don't worry, honey. I'll go with you. You? Honey, now I'm your husband and a member of this family. I have obligations to help the family. What does it have to do with you? I know clearly what you did before. You know nothing about business. Stop messing around. In a business negotiation with a big shot, what can you do? You can only cause trouble. I'm 100% sure. I'll persuade him. What? Are you nuts, Jing Pong? Jing Pong, you've just joined us. I understand you want to impress us. But I'm afraid this matter is not as simple as you think. Come on. I can make a pledge. I'm 100% sure of making it. When you talk to him, you'll give up all the profit and let us suffer great losses, right? No, that won't happen. They'll offer a price higher than the normal one and sign the contract. Shut your mouth, Jing Pong. This is not a child play. It's related to the fate of my family. Come on, I told you. I can make a pledge. If I can't do it, I'll be at your disposal. Interesting. I didn't choose the wrong guy. With your confidence, you're not an ordinary man. Dad, you call that confidence? Obviously, he has a mental problem. No, Jing Pong will join this negotiation. You should listen to him. Dad, he... Stop talking. It's settled. Honey, rest assured. I'll make it. Trust me. I'm telling you, Jing Pong, my dad just said I should listen to you, because he respects you. But you aren't allowed to boss me around. You must listen to me. The negotiation can fail, but the Shuya family can't lose dignity. Did you hear me? Yeah, sure. Everything is up to you. You're the boss. Let's go. Sorry, this floor has been booked by us. Please go back. Hello, we're from the Shuea Group. We came to discuss cooperation with Mr. Yang Tianqiao. An appointment? We made an appointment with his secretary. Would you please report this? Please wait. Hello, only one person can go inside. The two of us came together. Why can only one person go inside? Sorry, but that's the rule. Then I'll go in. Wait for me here. Hey, honey. If you go there, the odds are 10%. If I do it, it's 100%. If you go there, the odds are 10%. If I do it, it's 100%.
Come on, how can you be so sure? Honey, believe me, we're a couple. Just this once. Okay, go ahead. But I just believe you this once. If you disgrace the Shuya family, you'll be dead. Thank you, honey. Wait for the good news. Hello, Mr. Yang. On behalf of the Shuya group, I came to discuss cooperation with you. Our company has... Okay, it's over. You can leave. Mr. Yang, our company is... Can't you hear me? It's over. You can go now. But Mr. Yang... I haven't said anything yet. How can you say it's over? If I say it's over, it's over. The Shuya group should feel honored that I agreed to meet someone from that family. Now that you've talked with me, you can leave. Mr. Young, I think we can have a good talk. Our company comes in good faith. To be honest, the boss of the new group is like my brother. So. I won't cooperate with the Shuya group. Yes, I know. You and Mr. Liu are like brothers. But I believe with the help of our company, we can also be close as brothers. I've seen a lot of people like you. See him out. Sir, please leave. All right, then. Mr. Young, we won't talk about business today. Let me talk with you about saving your life. What? Saving my life? I'm not in any trouble. Do I need you to save me? Let me introduce myself. I am the son-in-law of the owner of the Shuea Group. One day ago, I was just a poor guy without a job. I didn't even know who Shuea Danian was. In just one day, I became his son-in-law. Do you think I'm an ordinary man? I swear on my life. You'll be in big trouble, and I can save your life. Okay, I'll give you three minutes. Tell me in detail what trouble I'll encounter and how you'll save me. I can only talk to you alone. I'll give you a stage to perform. All right, now it's just the two of us. You can begin, but let me remind you, if you talk nonsense, or make me unhappy. I won't just cooperate with you. I'll make the Shuya family cease to exist. No problem, sir. May I ask where your personal secretary is? This is not your concern. Just get to the point. The point here is your personal secretary. She's not here now. Then I'm sure she'll appear in your room tonight. That's just common sense. My personal secretary needs to take care of my daily life. She does more than take care of your life. At night, she'll come to kill you. What did you say? Kill me? Right. Just this night. While you're sleeping, she'll sneak into the room and then smother you. While you're sleeping, she'll sneak into the room and then smother you. That's bullshit. My personal secretary has worked for me for years. She's loyal to me. Why would she murder me? Mr. Young, don't be so sure. Since I can tell you this with confidence, I can't be wrong. Nonsense. How did you know this? Did you ask her to kill me? I don't know your secretary. Besides, if I asked her to kill you, why would I come here to tell you? Then you're talking nonsense. To see whether it's nonsense, you just need to make some preparations. Meet trick with trick. At night, she'll show her true colors. Poof! What a joke! Why should I listen to your bullshit? Mr. Young, it won't do you any harm. If what I said is true, you'll lose your life, right? All right. Three minutes have passed. I don't want to hear your crap here. Mr. Young, you must think carefully about it. Security! Get this arrogant man out of here. Mr. Young, you mustn't forget what I said. Jing Pong, what happened? Why did you get kicked out? This Mr. Young? 
really has a bad temper. He lost his temper while talking. Huh? Then did he agree to cooperate with us? He didn't agree on that, but I think there's still a chance. Stop daydreaming. If he didn't promise you, what can you do now? You were even kicked out. Did you say something wrong to offend him? I pissed him off. But I wasn't wrong. You're still talking back. I shouldn't have trusted you. You even dare offend Mr. Young. Do you want to destroy the Shwea family? Wifey, listen to me. Don't call me wife. Wifey! Wifey! Mr. Young, I put the clothes for tomorrow in your room. Secretary Lee, you're not in good shape. Secretary Lee, you're not in good shape today. No, Mr. Young. Well, I'm fine. You don't look well. Just have more rest. Thank you for your concern. Your room is right next to mine, right? Uh, yes, Mr. Young. I don't need you here. You can go to rest. Yes, Mr. Young. If you need anything, please call me. Okay. Hey, Secretary Lee? Yeah, Mr. Young. How many years have you worked for me? Mr. Young, it's been five years. Mm. Have I been treating you well? Mr. Young, you've been so nice to me. And treating me like a relative. Mm. Good. You can go to rest now. Yes. Jing Pong. What on earth did you say to Yang Tianqiao? Why did he throw you out? Nothing serious, Dad. I looked it up on the internet. Yang Tianqiao is sensitive and suspicious by nature. This time, he did kick me out. However, it makes me more confident. I think, if all goes smoothly, he'll come to talk about cooperation tomorrow, and it'll be strategic. Jing Pong, can you be more realistic? What makes you so confident? Ting Pong, can you be more realistic? What makes you so confident? It's hard to explain, but you'll find out tomorrow. You're gonna get our family destroyed. Enough! Since Ting Pong said it, let's just wait until tomorrow to see the result. Don't worry about it. Dad, how can you trust him so much? Since I chose to trust him, I won't doubt him. I told you, I never miss any talent. Yang Tianqiao, go to hell! Secretary Li, you really want to kill me. Tell me, why are you doing this? How did you know I was going to kill you? It's a good thing I'm suspicious. Otherwise, I would have been killed by you. Impossible. You couldn't have known my plan in advance. This is God's will. God didn't want me to die, and sent a man to save my life. I've been nice to you. You repay me like this? You're done for! Yang Tianqiao, you deserve to die! I hate you! Go to hell! I deserve to die? You're dead meat. Honey, we're already legally married. How can I sleep on the floor? Shut up. We need to put on a show for my dad. Leave if you're unhappy. All right, then. I'll sleep right here. I'll stay with you. Hey, you promised us today. If Yang Tianqiao doesn't come to our company tomorrow, I'll tell my dad you're unreliable, and then I'll divorce you. What if he comes? I won't believe it. Ridiculous. If it's really like what I said, tomorrow, you'll visit my parents with me. Also, I'll sleep on the bed at night. Okay, no problem. Okay, it's a deal. Wait and see. Take care of yourself there. Good night.
a lazy day. No diary today. You're so lazy. Right. I'm at the peak of my life. No news is the best news. Hey, honey. Jingping, come to the office. What's the matter? Come on, hurry up. Okay, fine. I'll go. You're finally here. What's the rush? Lang Tiantao is here. He wants to see you in the reception room. I told you he'd come. Is it because you offended him? He came here today to punish you? Hurry up. Come on. Mr. Yang, this is Jing Peng. Let me explain it to you. Oh my, Jing Peng, you've really saved my life. Mr. Young, I didn't lie to you, right? Luckily, I listened to you yesterday. You really saved my life. Please accept this. Mr. Young, please don't. What happened, Jing Peng? How did you save Mr. Yang's life? This is a little secret between Mr. Young and me. Come. Jing Peng, today I came here especially to discuss cooperation with the Shuea group. Mr. Young, are you sure you're going to cooperate with the Shuea group this time? Of course. I'll establish a strategic partnership with you, and you'll be my only partner in Binjiang. And we don't want any profit. I'll leave all the profits to your company. That's great. Thank you, sir. I should be thanking you. So now we can sign the contract. Yeah, sign it now. From today on, the two of us will be sworn brothers. You can just call me brother. No problem. Brother. It's done. We've nailed down the contract. How's it, honey? I didn't let you down, did I? I didn't know. You were quite capable. Of course. You know, I never fight a war I can't win. Crap. Stop it. Yang Tianchao said, you saved his life. What does that mean? This is a secret between the two of us. You just need to care about the result. Now that we've won the deal, we've surpassed the Liu group a lot and secured the number one position in Binjiang. In that case, I have to thank you on behalf of my family. No need. We're family, aren't we? By the way, did you forget the two conditions you promised me? What conditions? First, go to visit my parents with me. Second, allow me to sleep on the bed. I can promise you the first one. The second one. We'll talk later. What? You regret it? You. Enough. Are you going to your parents' home? I'll go back home if you aren't. Come on. Let's go right now. Mom? Son, you're here. Hello, ma'am. This is... Let us get inside first. Come in. That's great. Our son is here. Dad, where's Lurler? She went to school. You still haven't told me who this is. Let me introduce her. This lady here is my wife, Shui Suyao. What? What are you talking about? You're making jokes, aren't you? Mom, I'm not making jokes. We've already got registered. What? What about Chen Chen? Isn't Chen Chen your wife? Is it that she had plastic surgery and became like this? Chen Chen and I are divorced. Su Yao and I got registered yesterday. Unbelievable. You're so childish. Right, son. You and Chen Chen were fine the other day. Why did you two get divorced? And you married again, so soon. Dad. Mom. I know. This matter is a bit sudden. But I promise you two this. Firstly, I didn't betray Chen Chen, but she betrayed me. Secondly, Su Yao and I are serious. I mean it. You're messing around. So, ma'am, I know my visit is unexpected, but the two of us are serious. We're also legally married. He's been sensible since childhood. This is your business after all. We don't know the inside story. So we won't meddle, as long as you can live happily. Thank you, Mom. Mom, I know you're the best. So embarrassing, Ting Pong. Now it's like I'm the third wheel who's ruined your marriage. We know what's going on. That's enough. Don't care about others. Today, thank you for visiting my parents. 
No need for that. I promised you. We signed a big contract with Yang Tianxiao and met my parents. Let's go to a bar to celebrate it tonight. Okay, let's go. Come on. Cheers. Cheers. Brother Hoy. Hey, honey. Look who that is. Let's go. Look who this is. What a small world. Your life has improved. In just a few days, you've hooked up with a beauty. Wang Hui. What do you want? Who are they? She's my ex-wife. This one is my ex-wife's dear lover, the former general manager of Binjiang Hotel. You mentioned him before. Jing Peng. You're living a happy life now. Whether I'm happy or not has nothing to do with you. I worked at Binjiang Hotel and earned millions per year. But you caused trouble. Mr. Han misunderstood me and fired me. Now I'm unemployed. How will you pay for this? Mr. Wang, the person who caused this isn't me, but yourself. Still so arrogant. If it weren't for you, Wang Hui would still be the general manager of Binjiang Hotel. What else do you two have to say? If there's nothing else, just get lost. I don't want to waste my precious time. Little brat, whatever you think, you have to stay here. Glad that we've met here. Let's take our time and settle accounts. Wang Hui, you didn't suffer enough at Binjiang Hotel. And still want more? Do you have to send yourself to hell? Don't mention Binjiang Hotel. Right. Have you taken it over? How's it going? Wang Hui, don't tease him. Well, it's crystal clear that he was just bragging. Such a man can take over Binjiang Hotel. It won't even happen in the next life. Jing Peng, let's go. Wanna leave? Did I allow you? Do we need your permission to leave? Bingo! This bar is run by my best buddy. If I don't allow you to leave, you can't leave. What do you want? Jing Peng, you put me through this. If I vent my anger on you, it makes sense. Get down on your knees, lick the glass off the floor, and then swallow it. I'll let you go. Jing Peng, get down on your knees and lick it clean. Otherwise, Wong Hui won't let you guys go. It's fine if you don't do it. She can do it for you. It's okay. Wang Hui, don't go too far. That's right. I just went too far. You ended up at my place. What can you do to me? Have you decided? Who will lick it? Fine. Wang Hui, this is a personal grudge. We'll settle it. Let her go first. Wow. Playing hero here? You two are deeply in love, huh? If you're like this, it gets more interesting. If you don't do what I say, neither of you can leave. Guards! Brother Hui! Brother Hui! Brother Hui! If you dare hurt us today, you'll be dead meat. Oh my. Even a young lady dares to threaten me. You think I'm just a nobody? Wang Hui, do you know who she is? Let me remind you. She can't be messed with. Stop before it's too late. So arrogant. The more you do this, the more interesting it gets. Now I'm really curious. How powerful she is. I've changed my mind. Now take off all your clothes. Walk around the bar three times. Then I'll let you two go. Sounds good. Just wait here. What? Want to call the police? Wang Hui. Let me remind you for the last time. Her father is the owner of the Xu Group. Have you thought about the consequences? The owner of the Xu Group? Are you kidding me? Why would his daughter drink with a loser like you? Stop dreaming! Right! She must be a prostitute. A rich lady? So ridiculous. Liu Tianqian! You'd better watch your language. I'll say it one last time, if you dare touch her. I won't mind dying with you. That's so moving. Let me tell you this again. I just asked her to take off her clothes and walk around the bar. If she refuses, I'll find someone to help her. Dare you! I'll just show you! Guards, take off her clothes! Who dares? Move aside! Move aside! That's really outrageous. You hit me? Beat him to death! Come on! If you aren't afraid of death! What's going on here? Tang San, here you are. Wang Hui. What's going on? 
I ran into an enemy at your bar, so I asked your men to teach this guy a lesson. Feel free to do it. If he's your enemy, he's also my enemy. Just do it. I'll be responsible for this. Thanks a lot. This woman is not bad. Leave her to me. Don't hurt her! Take her to my room tonight. She'll warm my bed. You're the boss here? You shouldn't allow them to fight at your place. Or it'll get you in trouble. Oh, trouble? You know what? The least thing I'm afraid of is trouble. Especially for my buddy here. Dang San, do you know what this woman said just now? She said her dad was the owner of the Zhu group. Fortunately, I know all about them. Or, I'd be fooled by them. Well, such a rich lady comes to my bar. I need to welcome her. Hurry up, take her to my room. I'll give her a warm welcome. Is it funny? So funny. Do you know who I am? Do you know who's behind me? Vice President of the Sher Group. A major shareholder there. Wait, in that case, we're all related to the Zhu Group. We're a family, aren't we? What a pity! They're imposters. The man you mentioned is Liang Xiaotian, right? Whoa! You even know his full name. Good for you! Uh huh? Dang San, don't be fooled by the two of them. They're just nobodies. I know them well. Needless to say. Can I not tell that? Look at the cheap clothes. Just drop the act here! Okay, then I'll call Liang Xiaotian right now and ask him to come here. You really like acting. Wanna use your phone? Impossible! You'll call the police! Just let her. But she'll... Come on, how fun this is. I like to have fun. Okay, do it. If you call the police, I'll break your leg. Hello, Mr. Liang Xiaotian. I'm now at the bar of your subordinate Tang San. It's urgent. Come over here. Within ten minutes, I must see you. It's a pity you aren't an actress. Tang San? Why should we still wait ten minutes? Let's just deal with her right now! What's the rush? Just give her ten minutes. When time is up, this woman will be mine. And after that, you can all have a try! Come on, you know how to have fun. Let's see if you can still laugh later. This guy really disgusts me. Listen, break his arms later and pull out his teeth. Just leave it to me. What a surprise. I came to take a stroll at my bar and watch such a good show. It's worth it. If you like to watch shows, I promise I'll make this show more exciting. I guarantee that you'll love the plot. You know me so well. Faster! Drive faster. If Miss Zhu gets annoyed, I'll be finished. The ten minutes are almost up. Didn't you say Xiao Tian would come here? Where's he? Dang San? Just take this woman's word as a joke. Guards! Take off all her clothes! Take off all her clothes! Since you like to watch shows, today I'll be a good director, and you'll be the lead! Stop! Oh, Xiao Tian, why are you here? Mr. Jing, Miss Zhe, this... What's going on? Xiao Tian, you call her, Miss Zhe? Mr. Liang, we're just in time. If you come one minute later, I'm afraid. Tang San and his men would get me stripped. What? Mr. Liang, your men are worse than a criminal gang. Xiao Tian, the... Tang San? How dare you do this? She's the famous Miss Shui. This is a uh, daughter of our old chairman. And this is the heir to the Zhu group, the new chairman. What? Impossible. How could he be the new chairman of the Xue group? A few days ago, he couldn't even afford some cheap socks. How could he have become the chairman overnight? Is there a mistake? They must be frauds! Xiao Dian, are you sure? Shut your mouth! What I said is the truth. Mr. Liang, how will you deal with these dogs of yours? It's all up to you, sir. Whatever you say, I'll obey your order. Good. These guys go against the law and do lots of evil things. In the name of the Zhu group, whatever method you use, these people must lose everything and never make a comeback, or you'll be held accountable. No problem. 
Leave it to me. Xiao Tian, you can't do this to me. I'm your good buddy. You offended Mr. Jing and Miss Xu. Even if my dad was here, it'd be useless. Mr. Jing, Miss Xu, I was just deceived by these two people. I'm sorry, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I'm a beast. Right. Slump yourself. Just go on. Mr. Jing, I kneel before you, Mr. Jing. Jing Po, we were husband and wife. You won't kill me, will you? Mr. Jing, I was bewitched by this woman. I didn't really mean it. Scumbags like you don't deserve any mercy. Xiao, let's go. Mm. Mr. Liao, you mustn't forget what I told you. Yes, Mr. Jing, I'll handle it. Mr. Jing, don't go, Mr. Jing. Please spare me, Mr. Jing. Xiao Tian, I didn't know they were so powerful. I'm innocent. Xiao Tian, you weren't serious just now. And won't hurt me, right? Tang Sun, you're stupid. I was almost ruined by you. You useless creature. Just go to be a beggar. Xiao Tian, Xiao Tian, Tang Sun, what do we do? How would I know? You said the two of them were poor and losers. Now look, the poor man has become the richest man. Tang Sun, I didn't know what happened either. Jing Peng was good for nothing before. Right, he's my ex-husband. How can I not know him? Shut your mouth! You've dragged me down. I didn't know what was going on. Enough! We offended the Zhu group. From today on, the nightmare has just begun. Guards, beat these two idiots up, or I won't vent my anger. Tang San, we're like brothers. Honey, I'm sorry. It was my fault today. You've suffered. It's fine. I won't blame you. I didn't expect you were quite brave. Are you sure your head isn't hurt? It's all right. Just a small glass. How could it hurt me? I finally know why you divorced your ex-wife. I saw how mean she was. Don't mention her. Mom. Son, something happened. Come back soon. What's the matter? You'll know later. Hurry up. Okay, I'll be right there. Honey, my mom suddenly called me, saying something happened. I need to go back now. Then go quickly. Should I go with you? No need. Let the driver take you back first. I'll see what's going on. Okay. Call me if you need anything. See ya. Son. Mom, what happened? Come and take a look. Hubby, you're back. Liu Chengqian, what are you doing here? What do you mean? This is my home. I'm here to see Lerler. Daddy. Lerler, go to sleep in your room, okay? Mom, take her to her room. Let's go, baby. Let's go to sleep. Liu Chengqian, aren't you ashamed to come here? I didn't finish my words just now. Why did you leave? In fact, I don't really love Wang Hui. I'm not serious about him. Your relationship has nothing to do with me. We're already divorced. You said you wouldn't care about Leila. So why did you come here? What have you been doing? It's confusing me. Dad, stay out of it. I've already divorced this woman. Liu Chengkat, don't be shameless. Get out of my home right now. How can you say I'm shameless? I'm here to explain things to you. Back then, I was indeed a little impulsive. We can get remarried. I still love you. I'll be good to you all my life. I'll treat your parents and Lerler well. Enough. Liu Chengqian, I know clearly what you're up to. You learned that I inherited the Zhu Group, so you regret it. No, it's not because of this. We've been together for many years. I still have feelings for you. Hearing these words only makes me feel sick. You can ignore my feelings, but think about Lerler. She is our daughter. Let's remarry, shall we? She can't live without her mom. Hey! Aren't you ashamed to say this to me now? For Lerler's sake? Did you forget what you said the other day? You won't be deprived of your right as her mom. You can see her any time you want. But if you want to remarry me, it's impossible. Me and you aren't related anymore. Jing Po, why are you so heartless? To be honest, I'm already married. The Miss Xu you met earlier is my wife. Well, just live a happy life with your dear Wang Hui. Jing Po, give me another chance. All right, I'll be good to you. Liu Chengqian, don't make me curse you. Get lost.
Go away! You're up? I thought you were asleep. Does it matter? Why are you pulling my quilt? I'm going to bed. Who allowed you sleep on the floor? Well, didn't you tell me yesterday to sleep on the bed? You went back on your word? I'm telling you, although we're married, I haven't accepted you. You can't do this. I'll just sleep. Don't be afraid. Come on, I know what you want to do. Well, what do you want me to do? Go to sleep on the floor. Fine, fine. I give up. I'll sleep on the floor. I love the floor. Oh my! You rooster! Got up so early. Let me see what it records today. Now I have a beautiful wife, an inheritance of billions of dollars. I have a lovely daughter and healthy parents. I have to say it's the best life now. Do I still need it to change my destiny? No! I want to enjoy my current life. Hey, Mom. My son, your uncle is moving to a new house today. He invited us. You're coming with us. Mom, we don't get along well with my uncle's relatives. I won't go with you. Out of sight. Out of mind. But it's a special day. Your uncle asked me to call you. If you don't go, we'll feel embarrassed in front of them. Okay. Mom, I'll get dressed up. Oh, Uncle. Hi, Jingfeng. Brother, sister-in-law, you're here. Congrats, Uncle. You must take a good look today. My house is much more expensive than your small house. This is the city center. Much better than your remote place where nobody can be seen. Oh, my. You're here. Jingchuan. Yeah, it's dirty. Put on the shoe covers. Let me help you. Jingchuan. None of them wear shoe covers. Don't be silly. You're different. Listen to me. Put these on. Don't get it dirty, huh? He bought these shoe covers specially for you guys. Okay, we'll do it. Yeah. Mom, just stop it. No need. They're obviously bullying us. We're relatives. Why a double standard? Well, Jing Pong, what do you mean? I use a double standard? I'm bullying you? Even the meat has different layers. People are of various ranks, isn't that true? Huh? This is a new house. Don't get it dirty. Just put shoes covers on. Do it if you like. We just won't. Whose relatives are so mean? We don't need you. Dad, Mom, let's go. Wait. Just put shoe covers on. Not a big deal. Dad, that's not the point, okay? Such relatives don't... Treat us like human beings! All right, son. Let's do it. Yeah, uncle and aunt are reasonable. Fine. For my parents' sake this time, I'll stop arguing with you. Yeah, that's more like it. Well, now that everyone is here, please take your seats. Come on. Go inside. Come on. Oh, come on. Sit here. Sit. Hey, no seat here. Jing Chuan, go get some small stools for your uncle and aunt. Let them sit down quickly. All right. Jing Chuan, what do you mean? These are for you guys, can't you see? Aren't you going too far today? Jing Pong, how can you say this, huh? Can't you see the seats are occupied? I got these just for you guys. Also, just think about their social status. It's inappropriate for them. To sit with us. <laughs> That's true. It's just a meal. 
The place doesn't matter. Let's sit down. Dad, we're all relatives here. Why care about social status? Are you still human? How dare you? Jing Peng, watch your language. Who's not human here? I guess you know clearly who I'm talking about. Hey! Open your eyes and look carefully. Who are the people sitting at this table? They're all worth over five million dollars. What qualifications do you have to complain? What a joke! If I don't have five million, I can't even eat with you. What do you think? What era is it now? It's the era of money. You should feel honored that I invited you. Do you get to see us at ordinary times? What if I say... I'm worth 50 billion? Jing Pong, are you out of your mind? 50 billion dollars? He hasn't woken up from his dream. <laughs> because he's been poor for a long time. He's got a mental problem. I didn't realize you were so disgusting. Ha ha ha! Pong, I heard that you're working in a small company now. You'll earn less than 4,000 per month. If you want to save 50 billion, it will take a million years. Huh? Ha 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 ha! I guess he can't even earn 4,000 per month now. I heard that he's been fired from that company. Now you don't even have such a lowly job, right? Son, is what he said true? You lost your job? Mom, I'll explain it later. Explain what? Look, Jing Pong, work for me. I offer 4,500. You can come clean the toilet and also brush my shoes. Then, you'll be one step closer to achieving your big goal. Ha 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 ha. Is it funny? It's funny. Of course it's funny. Uh, you know what? If you go out, everyone will laugh at our Jing family. Well, you can take this toilet as your home. Jing Chuan, that's unbearable. Are you still a man? Old man, you cursed me? I'll offer you the same salary. Come clean the toilet too. Hey, hey, let go! Jing Chuan, you can insult me. But you insulted my dad? Do you want to die? Let him go, Jing Pong. You even want to fight? A useless guy with a bad temper. Guess what? I'll make it worse for you. Jing Pong, let him go. Don't be rash. Jing Chuan, don't be too arrogant. Believe it or not, I can make you lose everything right away. Whoa, began to act? Make me lose everything? Do you know what I do now? And how much I earn? Listen to me. I'm the general manager of a karaoke bar. My monthly income is 100,000. 100,000! Can you even imagine that? Also, do you know who my boss is? Vice President of the shoe group Liang Xiaotian. Now tell me. You'll make me lose everything? How will you do it, loser? You said your boss is Liang Xiaotian. Hmm. What? Scared, huh? Liang Xiaotian again. He has so much rubbish with him. Xing Pong, what did you say? Son, let's leave now. Mom, just wait for a good show. A good show? All right. I have to tell you one more thing here. Do you know why you got fired? That's because I told your boss to get rid of you. What? With no money and a hard life, you won't surpass me. I'll be more powerful than you. The gap between us will get bigger and bigger. I find it more and more exciting. Got it? Jing Chuan, this is too much. You can't stand it? You haven't seen my true ability yet. Good. Since you said so, I don't have any worries. I just said I'd leave you with nothing. You'll experience it soon. I just said I'd leave you with nothing. You'll experience it soon. What do you mean? You'll lose everything you've got. Jing Pong, have you lost your mind? Dad, don't stop him. I'm really curious how he'll make that happen to me. <laughs> oh my, hey, he took out his phone, you see. Mr. Liang, this is Jing Pong. The people working for you are all arrogant. 
What happened, Mr. Jing? You have a subordinate called Jing Chuan. Within two minutes, I want to hear that he's unemployed. Within a day, I must receive the news that he's gone bankrupt. Finished? Oh man, I heard you wanted me to be unemployed and go bankrupt. You called my boss? You're an expert at acting. It's a pity you didn't go to the film school. Do you think you're like me? How can you make someone lose his job and go bankrupt so easily? Brother, you've raised a great son. Huh? Ha 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 ha. Sing Pong, I think you should do sketches. You're more gifted than those comedians. Ha 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 ha. Take it easy. You'll stop laughing in a second. I... Hello, boss. It's me. Jing Chuan, did you offend Mr. Jing Pong? Jing Pong? He's right in front of me. How bold you are. From today on, you're fired from my karaoke bar. I'll settle other accounts with you later. Boss, what's going on? Jing Pong... However capable you are, you can't mess with him. Hey, boss. Son, what happened? Jing Pong. I was wrong. Son. How could you kneel before him? What happened? Has your boss really fired you because of him? Jing Pong, please. I was rude and offended you. You know, we're cousins. Please call my boss and let him retract his words. Stand up and we'll talk. I won't stand up until you agree. I told you to stand up. I told you to stand up. Jing Pong, what kind of big shot are you? How can you order Liang Xiaotian? What? Order? Jing Chuan. If you can make me lose a job with a low salary, I can also make you lose a job with a high salary. It makes sense. Son, what's going on? How come you're so capable? I'll explain it later. Jing Pong, look, we're cousins after all, aren't we? Well, you also know. It's been hard for me to achieve all this. Jing Chuan. Now, you remember I'm your cousin? When you set me up, why didn't you say I was your cousin? When you bullied my family just now, why didn't you say I was your cousin? It's weird. Isn't he just a lowly office clerk? He can't even afford the monthly mortgage. How can he order a powerful man like Mr. Liang? Dad! Stop asking me! Now Mr. Liang fired me and will punish me. It's Jing Pang who told him to do it. Well, in that case, Jing Pong, don't embarrass your uncle here. Please spare your cousin this time. Aren't you ashamed to say you're his uncle? How did you treat our family just now? My son doesn't have an uncle like you. My son doesn't have an uncle like you. Well said. We don't have relatives like you. Jing Pong, do you want me to kneel before you? That'd be too much, uncle. Dad, mom, let's go. Come on. Hey, Jing Pong, wait. Won't you help me? I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. Please, Jing Pong. Hey, my son, just now, you put Jing Chuan out of work. Did you really ask his boss to do it? Of course. He's rude. We must teach him a lesson. How can you order such a big boss? Dad, to be honest, I'm the heir to the Zhu group now. I'm worth tens of billions. What? You... How did you become the heir to the Zhu group? Yeah, don't tell me you took a shortcut. And did. Something illegal. How can it be, Mom? Don't you know your son? I'm a law-abiding citizen. Huh? Good for you. Mom, in the future...
Who'd have thought a useless poor guy has suddenly become a billionaire? Wang Hui, I really have a bitter life. I suffered with him for years. Just a few days after we got divorced, he became so wealthy. Do you think God likes to play tricks on me? Do you want to take his wealth and make it your own? Of course I do, but how to do it? This brat has made me so miserable. I won't let him go easily. I've come up with an idea. We can take revenge and steal his wealth. I just need your cooperation. In what way? After signing the contract with Yang Tianxiao, the share price of our group rises rapidly. The total value has increased by 71%. That's great. Great. Ding Pong, it's all thanks to you. Dad, don't say that. Without you, I couldn't do anything. I'm going to retire from today. Jing Pong will take over from me. As the chairman of our group, the inauguration will be held next week. Besides, I'll hold a wedding for you too. Dad, we can have a wedding. But as for the inauguration, let's postpone it. I'm not capable enough. Don't try to refuse. I've decided. You know me well. The decision I made won't be changed. Okay. Dad, now I swear. This life, I'll be loyal to Xiao and our family. She'll stay at my place for two days. Just two days. Then I'll bring her back. I won't go with you. I want to be with Grandma. Good girl. We'll go to the amusement park. Xian Qian, did you tell Jing Peng that... You want to take Lerler away? What do you mean? Lerler is my daughter. I don't need to tell him. Just because we got divorced, I've lost the right to be a mom. I didn't mean that. Lerler doesn't want to go out. Lerler is my daughter. Is she closer to her mom or her grandparents? It's not your place to talk. Let's go. Ding Pong, you can run the company as you like. But listen, if you do anything to hurt my daughter, I'll never spare you. Rest assured, Dad. I'll be good to her all my life. I'll keep that in mind. Mom? My son. Lerler was taken away by Qian Qian. Do you know that? When did it happen? It's been hours. Lily's smartwatch suddenly can't be reached. I can't see her location. And I didn't get through to Qian Qian. I'm worried about Lerla. Okay, Mom. I'll be right back. Xiao, oh, Dad. My mom needs me at home. Something happened to my daughter. I have to go back now. Go quickly. No matter what happens, our group will always support you. Thank you, Dad. Go now. See you. Feed this to the little girl. What's this? What's this? Idiot! Sleeping pill, of course. She's so little, why should she take this? I'm afraid she'll scream later. It can make her quiet. No way. You promised me you wouldn't hurt my daughter. We took her here just to blackmail Jing Peng. Yes, I promised you. But now that we're here, it's not up to you. If I don't get the money, I can do anything, you know? Wang Hui, I beg you. Don't let her take it, all right? I promise she won't make any noise. It's all right. But if she dares to scream, don't blame me for what I'll do. Okay, I promise. I promise. Almost time. You can call him. Dad, Mom! What happened to Lele? Son, Dian Tian took her away. I didn't think much about it. But her smartwatch suddenly couldn't be located. I can't get through to Chen Qian either. I'm so anxious. We know. Lele is Chen Qian's daughter. 
She won't hurt her daughter, will she? This woman isn't just normal. I know her so well. She doesn't have a moral bottom line. She would do anything for money. Then will Lella be in any danger? A tiger doesn't eat its cubs. I think Chen Ken won't hurt her own daughter. Perhaps she'll threaten me, asking me for much money. Isn't this kidnapping? I'll call the police. Hello, Jing Pong. Can you recognize my voice? Liu Tianjian. Jing Pong, do you know what I want to do? Where's Lila? Where did you take my daughter? Lila is just next to me. What do you want? I know you're wealthy. I'm very short of money. Once you transfer money to me, Lele can go back to you. I won't disturb you. Liu Qianqian, are you still human? How could you threaten me with your daughter? You're really a vicious woman. Just cut the crap. One hundred million. I'll send you the card number later. Transfer the money to me, and I'll send Lele back to you. You're courting death. Jingpeng, I don't have time for this crap. Give me money, or collect your daughter's body. Wang Hui, turn from your evil ways. Do you know it's illegal for you to do so? You'll be sent to jail. Stop talking nonsense. Because of you, I got nothing left. I'm not afraid of anything now. Listen, if you dare to call the police, I don't mind making things worse. Your daughter and I will die together. Wang Hui. Liu Qianqian. Really kidnapped Lala? This vicious woman is heartless. Is she still Lele's mother? It's my fault. I shouldn't have allowed her to take Lele away. Then let's call the police. No, Wang Kai has gone crazy. I'm afraid he'll hurt Lele. I'll think of another way. What can we do? Well, doing this put us in any danger. I'm afraid the zoo group is too powerful. Or what if they call the police? Don't be afraid. Since the little girl is still with us, we're sure to win. I wouldn't have listened to you. I guess I'll get retribution for this. Can you be quiet? Can you be quiet? You can't hurt Lele anyway, or I'll fight you like hell. I said it's not up to you now. Stop talking crap, or I'll kill you. Dad, I urgently need one hundred million to save my daughter. Please help me. Jingpeng, don't you worry. If you need it, even a billion won't be a problem. As the present chairman, you have the full right of money. Thank you, Dad. But the problem is. What if you give him a hundred million and he still doesn't release the leg? Hmm. Don't forget where we are. Whoever goes against our group won't have a good ending. Xiao, inform everyone. Use all possible means. No matter what, we must find Lila within half a day. Yes, I'll get on it. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Xiao. Don't worry. If we can't find Lila, then my reputation in Binjiang will be ruined. I received a hundred million. The Zhu group is indeed wealthy. That's great. I'll send Lele back. Are you stupid? You're already content with this. What else do you want? Another one billion. You're crazy. One hundred million is enough for us. You know nothing. If you send her back now, both of us will be caught. Who dislike money? What do you mean? With another billion, we can take the little girl abroad and live a happy life ever after. Jingpeng, you're quite fast. Looks like your daughter is very important to you. Cut the crap! You've got the money. Where's my daughter? Take it easy. The game has just begun. 
What does that mean? Give me another billion, and I'll send her back to you. I promise. Wang Hui. You're cutting your own throat. Stop talking shit here. You're not qualified to bargain with me. This little brat? He's asking for more money, isn't he? He wants another billion. Well, we're still looking for Lola. Should we transfer the money first? No. It'll be useless. This is like a bottomless pit. Now we can only wait. Let's see if we can find Lele's location soon. Hello, how's it going? Miss, after checking the surveillance videos in the city, we found that Lolo was taken to an apartment in Garden Community. Good. Gather everyone. Rush over there. Yes, let's go. Mom, I miss Daddy. I miss Grandma. Good girl. I'm taking you to a fun place, huh? No, I want to go home. I want to be with Daddy and Grandma. Shut up, little girl. Make more noise and I'll slap you. I want to see Daddy and Grandma. Don't go too far. Who's it? Who's it? Your neighbor! Look at you. You disturb them. Keep an eye on her. Who's it? Stay back! Don't move! You... who are you? Wang Hui. Come and take a look who I am. Daddy! Lola. Jingpeng, you're finally here. I was forced by Wang Hui. I'm the victim. Lele, go out with her first. Dad will be there soon. As for this slap, I did it for Lele. You don't deserve to be her mother. You're worse than a beast! As for this slap, I did it for Lele. You don't deserve to be her mother. You're worse than a beast! And this slap. I did it for you. You're not qualified to be a human. This final slap is for myself. I gave you a chance before. But you even hurt your daughter. Jingpeng! I was wrong, I was wrong. Stop slapping me. I let you and Lola down. I apologize. To you and Lele. Seeing your face? Really disgusts me. Jing Peng, I was bewitched by this woman. I'll give you back all the money. Please let me go, okay? Wang Hui. Do you know what this is? This is a fist. Ah! Oh. You kidnapped my daughter. It's not too much for me to beat you to death, don't you think? Jingpeng, calm down first. I'll give all the money back. Please let me go. Jingpeng. You too? Spend the rest of your lives in prison. You brought it upon yourselves. Bodyguards, give this bad guy a good beating. Leave the evidence for the police. Jing, Jingpeng, I, I don't want it. I'll give the money back. Ah! 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 Stop it! Stop it! Ah! Honey. Mm hmm? Thank you for that. Well, is this how you thank me? What do you want? Oh, no! Wait, I'll give you a big thank you. Hmm. Be good and take a shower first. No. Hey, take a shower. Okay. I'll go now.
Honey, you're done. Come on. You read that diary? Uh, this is a diary? I didn't know what it was. I read it. Why? What does it say? You read that diary? Uh, this is a diary. I didn't know what it was. I read it. Why? What does it say? It says that he's terminally ill. Well, you wrote that? What? You're not terminally ill, are you? Shit! What the hell is going on? I have no idea. It's not mine! Then why are you so nervous? Come here, let's do it. Hello, please sit. What's your problem? Hello, doctor. I feel as if I have a terminal illness. So I came to have a check. You feel it? Why do you think that way? Why do you look so familiar to me? Doctor, can you take off your mask and let me see your face? Okay, no problem. It's you? It's you? You know me? Don't be afraid. I'm also called Jing Pong. I... I'm you. It's just that... I'm you 30 years later. Who on earth are you? What's with that diary? Diary? What diary? What do you mean? You know what I mean. You gave me so much, and now you made me terminally ill. Why is this? Let me go! You calm down, calm down! Ah! Oh. What's wrong? What's wrong, hubby? How come it's you? Who else could be with you? What happened? Perhaps... I had a nightmare. Having a nightmare again? It's okay. Sleep now, huh?